There's a definite psychology to whether a conductor inspires you to play better or whether he frightens you into playing better out of fear of losing your job. Depending on the kind of conductor you have to deal with, uh, your life can, can be very stressful. There is a tremendous amount of personal interaction and psychology going on in, in the relationship between conductor and orchestra. Sometimes conductors feel that fear is motivational. If their performers are afraid of them or afraid of making a mistake, they will do better. I, I've never felt that way. I think that fear is debilitating. I remember once years ago, a very famous one of the big, big five orchestras came down. They were telling stories about what it was like during those years with this, this legendary conductor. People would still have nervous twitches when they'd come to certain passages because this conductor was such a tyrant and so mean-spirited. It was 10 years later and, and they would still have a, you know, a physical reaction when they'd come to certain passages because this conductor would go, player by player, let me hear it, you know, in the string section. Fewer and fewer of the music directors are real performers themselves who have actually sat there and had to make music and, and understand what it feels like to be producing the sound. And so uh, they're less tolerant with people who make mistakes. And so it's put a, a great deal of pressure to be very perfect sounding orchestras, not miss. And it's sad because what it's done is it's made the focus off of the music the actual musical intent and the message and put it more on the execution of the part. And uh, in a sense, the execution is exactly the right word because we're, we're killing the old fashioned way of just simply going for it. If you ask an orchestra to take risks, if you put difficult music in front of them, if you're challenging them all the time, you have to say, we're all going for this together. And they have to feel completely comfortable that if something doesn't work, there are no repercussions. That's the way music is. I mean, it's a living thing. It's a fluid thing. If, if it's a performance filled with energy, filled with commitment, filled with drama, filled with communication for the musicians, telling the audience, we love this music, we want you to love it too, that's a good performance. And while wanting to do well is very motivating and, and having high expectations is very motivating, fear is not. And I think that one should not be afraid of a conductor. And a conductor who uses fear as a tool is not one that I would ever emulate and I, I don't think that that's a positive force at all.